Good morning. Welcome. Hello. Glad to have you with me on some good seeds. My Bible reading schedule this morning takes me through Judges chapter 8, Psalm 42, and 1 Corinthians 15. What a wonderful, wonderful chapter that is. And it's from that 15th chapter that a thought has occurred to me in uh, verse number 19. Just a real challenging verse for us today. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most pitiable. It is, oh my, ever, ever so easy to lose sight of the why of our existence. We are not here for ourselves, but for the Lord. And so when we lose sight of the, of the spiritual, of things eternal, we allow ourselves to be, well, I guess to be sidetracked, uh, to focus on things that, that are really only temporary at best. And the result of that dissatisfaction on it, the result of that is dissatisfaction on every level of our lives. We are, we are not satisfied in the flesh for those things uh, seek, uh, that we seek in that arena. They, well, they only last for a short period of time. Then we have to try other arenas or treats, if you would, uh, little tidbits here and there or whatever that, again, well, they only satisfy for a short period of time. However, Paul tells us if in this life we seek those things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of the Father, well, it gives us a whole, whole different picture. We see things for what they really are, and they lose their attractiveness when we see through them. When we get a, a, a more complete or a more accurate picture, we, we realize that they are not so attractive then the things of the Spirit become more and more precious to us. And our lives, the result of that is they become more fulfilling because we have the right focus. Wow. Uh, if our hope in this life is only on the, uh, the, well, the here and now, right now, if only that's what's right in front of us, then Paul really has nailed it. He really is right in what he says. But he is also right in helping us see that, that we must focus on things that are eternal. We walk by faith, not by sight. That in turn brings the greatest and the best joy in our lives for it's the internal that we're looking at and not at the external. Boy, that's where I want my focus to be. Ever so easy to be distracted, all kinds of things uh, that, that pull at us, that try to draw us in and cause us to get sidetracked. But if we keep our focus, things are different. We have a joy that the world doesn't have. We have peace that can only be found in the Lord Jesus Christ. And our lives then become more fruitful and more satisfying because we are thinking about the things that are eternal. We have our focus on Jesus and heaven and being with him. Wow, it's a great thought. Pray that it'll be a blessing to you today. It's already blessed me. I'm just thankful for the truth of God's word that he helps us to see through the deceptiveness and the dissatisfaction of life and focus on things that are right and eternal. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, may the Lord richly bless you today as you focus on things eternal. Amen.